Okay, so I mentioned I went to Muji and I bought this pen. It's a great pen. But how do I know that? I have to compare it. I have a couple of other 3-in-1 pens. So we're going to compare it. There was another pen like this at the store. It only had red and black ink. And instead of blue ink, it had a number 0.5 millimeter. Uh, mechanical pencil but I already have a really good mechanical pencil and it has an eraser and a cap um, and it's really small and it's great so I didn't really need it plus I also have another 3-in-1 that has that so I got this it looks very futuristic and um, the ink on it is pretty great so let's compare it to prove that so I'm gonna run um, compare it to these by just running some lines on these and just seeing how they look, the color and the variation uh, of these. That's about it. So this is going to be uh, the Muji and I'll just write that in black ink. So I just press this down just like that. Goes halfway, comes out. This does open here in the middle, but there's no really need to open it for these pens unless I'm refilling ink um, as opposed to the mechanical pencil one you would open this to refill up to two lids of um, pencil so Muji and I was sketching with this I don't have I think I don't know what I was sketching on with this maybe a post-it note or maybe my sketchbook but uh, I sketched an, a flower and an eye. Actually, I think I was at work when I sketched the flower and then I sketched an eye somewhere. But right here, I'm not gonna do that. But I really liked and it came out. I always carry red and blue pencil and I just don't think I'll need it with this pen. Um, it's really, it just writes really well. Writes really thin, so it's a very fine ballpoint pen. I would say this is like a 0.5. Honestly, it, like even a 0.3, look how fine it is. It's hard to tell. So I have re reinforcements. This is a Bic. I love this. This is a great pen. Uh, this has red, blue, and black ink and also has a mechanical pencil. So this one's got the full works. Um, it's pretty cheap and uh, it's really great. It works amazingly. It opens in the middle, no need to open it in the middle. Um, the top cap holds the eraser and also you can lift it to, oh no, no, I think this one you do put, let, let's see. Yeah, you can lift this, you can lift this to refill another eraser but you also open this one in the middle to refill your lid or your lid, your lead in here as well. Um, so this goes down all the way when you push these in and the gray is the pencil and you click to release lead. The Bic is a medium um, ballpoint. I don't know if it shows, doesn't say what it is. I'm sure there's specs that show it, but I'm just gonna compare. Lines are okay. But you can definitely tell they are uh, thicker than the Muji. And it's cool seeing that even though they're the same colors that the uh, shade and vibrancy and hues different. Um, so the big's more vibrant um, and uh, the blue is a little bit more warm than this Muji blue. Um, I'm not, I don't need to compare the lead but I'm going to do it anyway. I think this is a thicker lead so I'm just going to do this lead here. 
so so that's the big and this is oh I got this for like cents like literally I got this for like 10 cents um, so the colors on some of these are not light fast and this is an older pen so some don't even show they don't show the right way so anyway uh, I'm just gonna write a toy t color click pen toy smith color click pen so toy smith color click pen uh, and we'll do lines on these I'm only gonna compare the whoops the red ink uh, okay we'll see how this turns out look at that talk about light fastness that one was the red okay and we'll do the blue the blue looks very similar to the big color but that red is straight on magenta okay so that's these guys. Um, this is made in Taiwan. Okay. This is an Uli. And this is a, looks like it's like a Simic. No, it doesn't even have y'all. This is just a random muted pastel pen. So we're gonna do, you know, we'll do what we do. We don't have <laughs> black ink. But we have red and blue, and we'll use orange. Um, so this is gonna have everything. So I'm gonna write Uli. It's gonna have black ink. God, that's really bad. And yeah, we'll use green. See how that works. Just trying to see line variation, or really just how the line, how thin it is. And you know, 2022, I have no problem with these getting stuck or much or anything like that. They're pretty much all that shit's solved by now. So I gotta worry. Look at that blue. It's straight up cyan. I saved the, the best for last, only because it's the most expensive. This is a rot ring, and uh, it used to be over hundred dollars, and now they don't make the same one, but they sell a variation of this for I think thirty-five dollars or. 55 I don't remember um, the difference between that one and this one is that this one's a gravity pen three and one pen and so what that means is depending on how I choose to face this up will determine what comes out of the barrel um, and this does have uh, just two inks it has blue and red and it has lead so doesn't have a lot this is old this pen is over a decade old so even though it's the new ones aren't gravity, you like turn this to like move it. Um, the body is the same, um, the, so the quality is the same. Even though the build is different and the engineering is different, I have dropped this and I realized that I shouldn't use this so much anymore. But because I think this still costs a lot, but it's just so fun to use. Um, I know that people have stories where they used to people used to use this as a magic trick and say think of a color and this will tell you give you whatever ink you want so if you said uh, red you know you would push the ink and then red if I can get red to come out so and you know so just depending on what you choose or what the, you'll notice here is the, the marker so if you're facing it up and you choose this out um, while it's face up or you uh, release the barrel uh, you would get the ink so I haven't used this in a while but I do think that I needed a refill ink which is why I haven't used it so this might be why um, okay so and I need to actually clean it but I don't want to clean it so I uh oh so I guess it's red and black I don't know I'm pretty sure it was blue maybe I put blue I don't remember I'm almost certain I thought this had red and blue ink still, but I might have replaced stuff in it. I've replaced so much ink and lead in all of these 
Um, so this is the, the mechanical pencil and it works amazingly. Like the way it feels when you click it, it's tough, but it, it feels the same way when I first got it. That's kind of crazy. Um, and it also feels really good. And this is 0.7, but I've always felt like this was like 0.5 compared to my 0.7s. The big is actually, I believe, 0.7 and as well and it looks thicker and that's how 0.7 should look and look at that 0.7 there so um i have no complaints over that um yeah but i'm almost certain i'm so confused that i thought i had a blue ink as well but maybe i did <laughs> so maybe i replaced it yeah all right well this is my rot ring so don't use it as much just because um, like I said I think I was running out of ink on both of them I thought and also just because it's expensive but also it writes bolder and also this is heavy so this is great to have at home and I've used it quite a bit I mean this thing is used up but um, this will be my new pen of the future I'm excited it writes really thin and it's very chic, very sleek. It is also triangle the way that I write, and it tapers down. But maybe I'll make a review in a few months and see what I think of this one and another pen that I'm trying out. Okay, thanks for watching.